so it's time to do some applications of compositions. To begin, I've given you this real-life situation. Let's say Mr. Morbido is going to let the class decide how he should determine bonus points for the next quiz. He will add three points and five percent of your grade. And you originally had an 80 percent. So what is your new grade? So if you think about this, Okay, we have an 80%. We're going to get three points and an extra 5% of the grade. So, does it matter if we add the three points first, then take the 5%, or do the 5%, then add the three points? So let's try both ways. So on this side, let's take our 80, add three to it first, that gets us to an 83. When I take 5% of the grade, I'm taking my original grade, 100% of it, and adding an extra 5%. I like to say that that's 105% of the grade. And I'm getting that from doing 100% of the original plus the new 5%. So to do that, let's see, we'll take our percent. We always like to move the decimal two places to the left to change it to the decimal. So 1.05 of the grade, which is now an 83. And then I get my calculator out. 1.05 times 83 gets me an 87.15. That would be our new grade. So the question is, is that our new grade, or is there another possible way to figure out the grade that might actually be better than this? Let's try doing it in the other order. So now we have the 80%, and this time we're going to do the 5% first. Now, we could obviously do it the same way we did over here. I would multiply the 80 times the 1.05. Some of you might feel more comfortable finding the 5%. This is me finding the 5%, right? So I do 0 0.05 times 80. This is the same exact way I'd be doing it over there. That gets me 4. And then you do your 80 plus 4. So that was adding your 5%. And now if I do the second step, your 84 plus 3 points, we wind up with 87. So notice they are not the same, they're very close. But we would prefer it to be done this way. And it kind of makes sense if you think about it. When you're taking a percent of a bigger number, you're going to get a bigger number. So if you want to increase your grade, you want to add the points, then take that percentage. Okay, So I'm going to try the next question with you, but I'm going to introduce a little bit of notation um, to show you how we actually are doing a composition. Okay, so now Mr. Strader is at Bed Bath & Beyond. He's going to buy a toaster. And Bed Bath & Beyond has two types of coupons. Now in real life, they don't let you use both coupons on the same thing, but we're going to pretend that they do. So he finds this $100 toaster, and he wants to use his 20% off coupon and his $5 off coupon. I'm going to use some function notation here to represent what we could do. Let's say that f of x is the price of the toaster, x, which we know to be 100, but we're doing it in case maybe he changes his mind, maybe he finds a better toaster he'd rather buy. So x is the price of the toaster originally. And we could take $5 off. So the f of x function will be the $5 off coupon. Let's do a different function. We'll call that the g of x function. And that will take 20% off. And again, there's two different ways you want to think about this. You start with the original price of the toaster, and then you would subtract 20% or 0.20 of that toaster. 
Notice that does simplify because we have like terms. We have 1x minus 0.2x, uh, right? We don't need to write that zero. But we get us 0.8x. That's the way that I would like to do it. I always like to jump to this answer. Think about it this way. If you're taking 20% off of something, you still have to pay 80%. Well, that's exactly what 0.8x represents. So I am going to do a composition. I'm going to say, let's do the $5 off first, get an answer, take that answer, and plug it into the g of x function. All right, so again, that's do the, doing the $5 first, and the 20% second. Let's see what we get. That's the same as g of x minus 5, right, because that's what f of x is. And we're going to take x minus 5 and substitute it into the g of x equation. So 0 0.8 times x minus 5, which becomes 0.8x minus So that's using the $5 first. Let's do it the other way now. So let's do f of g of x. So that would be f of 0.8x, which would be, um, let's see, we're going to take 0.8 and substitute into the f of x function. So 0.8x minus 5. Look at your answers right now. Both of them have a point 8x. This one over here, we're subtracting 4. This one over here, we're subtracting 5. So which one has to be the smaller answer? Well, this one does, because everything else is the same, except for this minus, this constant here. So we know that this way must be cheaper. Even though I don't actually see a value, just look at the expressions. This one has to be less than, than the first way of trying it. So I would like, let me write a sentence here. I would like Bed Bath & Beyond to apply, let's see, which one was this? The g of x was the 20% uh, off. Apply the 20% off coupon first and the five dollar off coupon second. And obviously you could plug in a hundred and you could see which one is actually cheaper, but we can see that for any price that that would be cheaper. All right, time for you to try one on your own.